Bird, WMG, Weapons Mask, Gaming Butch on the mic, Butch on those MTGO clicks. Going to check in on uh, a little Magic Online here. Um, I looked into it about a year ago. I thought I'd make some videos for the, uh, for the channel. And uh, the graphics just weren't good enough. I just couldn't um, justify making a video where you guys wouldn't be able to read the cards. It's just, it wasn't in high def. It was like from, you know, 1998 or something like that. It was just, it looked like, it just looked like it was from the early 90s. It was just the graphics were terrible and you just couldn't make good videos out of them. But now, uh, Magic has gotten a facelift. Um, Magic Online's gotten a facelift. Um, you can adjust the size of the cards. Um, I can make them big. I can make them small. I can uh, I can do a preview pane, which is actually I'm going to get it up there. I'm going to keep this preview pane up while I play. So any card I hover over, you guys will be able to see. Yeah, I'm going to start off with a like a mini a mini sealed event. It's a four booster pack sealed. So that's really going to test your deck building. We have four out of the eight people have joined so far. Still waiting for four more people. Oh, wait a minute. My sealed started. Wait a minute. I got 20 minutes to build my deck. Never mind. I didn't even hear it start. Shit. These are my four packs right here. Let us move things around. 20 minutes is more than enough time. All right, so what do we have? Colossus, terrible. Guardians, terrible. I'll try and leave these up so you guys can read them. I'm not going to read them to you. Um, Feather, fe Fleet Feather Sandals, I've never run it. Uh, don't see many people running it. Got beat by it once just recently. Witch's Ice, kind of, I don't know. I don't run it. Traveler's Amulet, Amulet is really good for uh, two color. I'm gonna run it. Assuming I'm gonna have a two color here. Oh, I have two. Oh, that's Witch's Amulet. Get that Witch's Eye. Get that out of here. I want this Traveler's Amulet. Alright, so, Soldier of Pantheon. Um, I mean, decent one drop. Yoke Dox, um, I never thought about running it, but I've seen... I, I like to go watch. They record the uh, pros when they draft, and then they put them up on, uh, online so you can see exactly how the pros drafted. I was shocked by some of the first picks. Um, obviously, Yoke Dox wasn't a first pick, but I saw the pros running it, so it kind of made me curious. Battlewise Valor is great white. Pegasus is good if you have a lot of humans. She's human heroic with the worst heroic ability, I feel. Phalanx Leader is amazing, and he's human. Wingsteed Rider, I love him. That's another heroic. Boy, we're definitely running white. I don't even I don't even have to look at the other colors to tell you that I'm running white. Um, wow, we have two Sentry of the Underworlds. That's two white black cards that are very good. They regenerate and they're flying, and you know how good flying is in limited. Um just real quick in green here nothing crazy good in green I like oh no that's not even the right one um, red really sucks black is kind of lame blue's got some stuff to run but let's just start with our white because we're definitely running white um, I mean pro from multicolored we'll give it a go Battlewise Valor is a great uh, trigger for Heroic. And we're going to be running a lot of Heroic. Um, I'm going to run the Cavalry Pegasus because it's flying and I do have humans. Um, normally I do not run her because she just is almost vanilla because her Heroic is so bad. But she's human so that might make her a flyer. Oh, I put the wing steed rider. I mean, the wing steed rider is just nuts. Um, I've drafted and gotten two of those, and I went 3-0 basically with just two wing steed riders. I mean, if they don't have the removal for it right off the bat, they're screwed. Um, Divine verdict removal is at a premium, especially when it's just a four pack sealed. So have to run the removal that we have, and it's 
pretty good removal too because it's only four and it's attacking or blocking creatures not a lot of restrictions Heliod's emissary is one of um, one of the best um, bestow abilities it's super expensive but it's still it's a still a, a good three three um, three three master diversion basically but it costs four gonna run both of those out I mean they're nice you can play it as a you know you can play a turn four three three Tappenstein or you can play it as a turn seven get you over the top hundred handed one is amazing he's cheap he does a lot of blocking you can make him monstrous and make him like a six what eight or some shit like that it's amazing and he can uh, block a whole bunch of stuff and uh, it has reach so hundred handed one is an easy easy it would have been a first pick do not care for silent artisan do not care for yoked ox um, angel of heliod I'm gonna run it cuz I have a lot of double white in here and it might be worth it so let us sort these see what our curve looks like not looking too bad now let's pick a second color I'm tempted to pick black because I've got two good flyers that uh, have evasion and I can regenerate. It's an expensive regenerate, but if I'm ahead, it's worth doing. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I don't like commune with the gods. I do not care for Nylea's presence. Um, Voyaging Satyr is what, probably the best mana fixer or mana ramp in the game. Uh, everyone running green runs this. It can give you a turn four or turn three world eater, I think. Turn, is it turn three world eater? Yeah, like I've seen some crazy shit done with Voyaging Satyr. Um, maybe I do run green simply because I have Voyaging Satyr. Um, that's going to help me ramp up. Um, this is going to take care of artifacts or enchantments, which are uh, the artifacts are really generally either super awesome legendary artifact or they're garbage like this. So no one runs them. But everyone runs enchantments because it's an enchantment block. Shredding Winds is great removal to get rid of the Flyers. This is more removal to get rid of early game guys. If you've got some, like, a hundred-handed one out there, really good. Staunch Hearted Warrior gets really big really fast. Um, I've got some nice heroic triggers in here. That Battlewise Valor is going to work. Um... I'm not gonna run Fleet Feather Sandals. I don't know why that's in there. I accidentally grabbed that. Um, my only triggers are, so far, are the em two emissaries that are expensive and Battlewise Valor. So I'm gonna have to find more triggers if I want to run Staunch Hearted Warrior. But I do like, um, well, I like the. I don't like Nylea's Disciple. I like the other Nylea, the three three for three. I like the Elephant. That's good value. Asp is very good. Um, I'm thinking about running green. Absolutely no way I'm running red. Um, let's check black. There's a trigger. I'm gonna need some. I need him for my Wingsteed Riders. I need it for the Phalanx. I just basically, my second color has to be all triggers. I've got pretty good creatures already. So... Sea God's Revenge is good. Chimera's a decent um, creature. Master of the Waves is awesome, especially if you're playing against red. Not going to have much blue devotion. Omen Speaker is good. Triton Tactics is a trigger. Aqueous Form is a trigger. And a Null is useful. This is good. Tough decision. If I'm running right white, I have to run triggers. Um, if I run green, I have to run more triggers. Um, I think the best way to do that is blue. Honestly, because I have Triton Tactus and Aqueous Form. But that's, that's two triggers. Let's see, I would have one... I would only have two in black... None in green. Wow, I have to have them. I 
Maybe I can go three color. What would I get out of black? Just boon and cutthroat maneuver. That would add two. I don't know about going three color though. Hmm. Of course I have two traveler's amulets. Did I take those out? I meant to put a traveler's amulet in, not the fleet foot sandals. Hmm. All this heroic. All I have is Battlewise Valor right now. I mean, Heliod's Emissary, but it's not until a 7 drop. I don't even know if I'll ever get there. I'm tempted with green because of the extra removal. And the land with the Satyr. Then I don't get any t any targets. I mean, time to feed's a good trigger. Asp is a good creature card. He gets out so quick, and you can do so much with him. Not a big fan of Nylea's Disciple unless you're playing a Devotion deck. Staunch Hearted Warrior just gets so big so fast, but I don't have the triggers for him. I mean, I'm just a too too much heroic in here, honestly. Um. I mean, a Null's going to be good, because a Null counters all of the all of the enchantment creatures. It's actually a really, it's, I think it's an underused card because these bestow cards are really good. They're, they're good as creatures and good as enchantments, and this counters both. And every color has them, so let's just... Go with. I mean, I, I I need the triggers. Plus, Aquius form. I mean, if I can get him on a Wingsteed Rider, put the Aquius form on the Phalanx leader, pump everybody else. Sea God's Revenge would be some good late game bounce. Um, Chimera's just gonna be a good beastie flyer. Guess I just run all. I just run out all the blues because they're all usable. And let's uh, sort these by converted mana cost. Let's add our land and see where we're at. I might have to add a third color. Um, more white than blue. Thirty-seven. I would be three cards short if I wanted to run a two color. So what could I put in from? here well I could just put in some white I could put in one yoked ox and one silent artisan silent artisans worthless though I think I really do the yoked ox I can see having some value if you drop him turn one um Yeah. Okay. I'll run a yoke dox out there, and I, I think I'll put these f fleet feather sandals in. What can I? What What would need flying that doesn't have flying? Phalanx leader. Um. It has to be cast a spell, so I would much rather have a trigger. But. Let's see, is there anything I can get? Well, the haste might be good. What can I give flying that doesn't have flying? That soldier, phalanx leader, the priest, emissaries, the evangel. Alright. Frick it. That's not a lot of creatures, though. though. It's not a lot of creatures. Oh, geez, I still don't have enough. I 
still need another creature. What happens if I go black? This guy sucks. That guy sucks. Good trigger. I like the harpy. Fleshman's well, it's a bear. Horse bear. Viper's kiss is a good cyborg. Tormented hero. Look, I couldn't switch this out. It wouldn't do me any good. I mean, how much time do I have left? Four and a half minutes. So, what could I take out? I could take out the yoke docks. I'm thinking about splashing another color. I'm thinking about splashing green for Shredding Winds, Voyaging Satyr, Nylea's Presence. Or not Nylea, I'm sorry. Voyaging Satyr, Fade to Antiquity means I could take out and a null. Uh, I would want the staunch hearted warriors though. Hmm. I don't know. I think everybody's going to, most people are going to be running three colors. I think I got lucky that I got two such that my white pool is so big. I wonder if I can get a little bit of advantage by running just two colors. And I could just throw a silent artisan in. You know, maybe I maybe I get silent artisan in and then I can drop the Heliod. You know, and I've got hundred handed one out, Phalanx leader, you know, maybe a Pegasus, there's one other thing and I get, you know, a whole bunch of one ones. Um, don't need 18 lands. I'm not really that, that back end heavy. Only one three drop though. That's disappointing. I got a couple of three, I got several three drops in here. Hmm. I don't have any other elemental creatures outside of the ones that he makes. Well, are these elementals? No, white soldiers. Those are humans. I mean, hey, maybe I get a couple humans out a couple first couple turns in a Pegasus and I just fly in and beat him. He doesn't have... I only have one removal spell, Divine Verdict, and I don't have the two black removal. I don't have any of the red removal. So I could get more removal out of green. It's only two minutes left. I don't think I could I could do it that quick. I don't know. We'll run it. We get we can sideboard in between matches. Like I can I can I can splash green, take out Sea God's Revenge, take out one of Null, take out Yoke Dox, take out an island or two and a plains or two and splash some green. Because I would like to have Asp. I would like to have both staunch hearted warriors. I would like to have shredding winds. I would like to have voyaging satyr, fade to antiquity. I would like to have all of those. But I really needed blue for the triggers for all this heroic that I have. But I guess we'll just run it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> 